Good enough. Okay. How's it going, guys? Welcome to um, this week's video. We got we got a package. Because uh, we're putting it on the Commodore, aren't we? Yeah. This is what the mod was. And you're going to find out now because we, we haven't unboxed this. So, welcome to Unbox Therapy. Do Where's it say do not bend and then you just look? <laughs> do not bend, big bend. Yeah, righto. Eh? Alright, so what did Dante order? So you're wondering what Dante got. Well, it took him about 20 minutes to open the bloody box, but he got... Uh, so ignoring that, uh, back, back to your yeah, grill. Uh, Dante bought a grill and the foggy foggy light holder things. Now, how much horsepower do each of these provide? Well, it's it's like the size, you know. These because you know wind flows through there into the turbo that may come on it one day. So easy, twenty horsepower each, so forty. And um, the grill, you know, because the air flows through it and. See in these little inlets, it's carbon fiber. <laughs> Nothing. So we're removing the grill? We, there's the new one. Cameraman. No. <laughs> new one! New hang one on, behind on, you. On, on. Just wait. <laughs> Guys, we've got a new... Cousin cameraman. We, we've, we've got a new vide videographer. So we apologize for, for any absolute trashness. <laughs> that one. Ah, the new one, yes. Free employment. Okay, so what we're doing right here is we're taking the grill off to start with. So when you're removing your front bump off, first thing you need to do, remove your grill. You need this thing. The hex tool. Hex tool and a flat head. And we're gonna show you how to use them. Let's go. Come on down. So hex tool, hex bolt. Bolt. Yep. No, yeah. Loosen that baby up. A little sexy light. <laughs> Don't judge my technique. <coughs> Don't, judge my. Don't judge my technique. Once we've done that, this should just. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Oh yeah, thumbnail. Can you take a photo of us, please? All right, guys. So we've gone deep into the car's history, like about ten years. <laughs> I don't know why it's orange under there, but it's also started to rain. And we've got a tin. <laughs> we've got a tin shed. These are all snapped. What is it? Are Does anyone fun? want a grill? Oh, bro, we got one right there. <laughs> because the grills, when you buy them, they don't come with the emblems, so we're just going to use the same one, which is pretty trash already. Um, like half the clips are gone from it. It's just, it's not good. But we're going to give it a nice little coat. <laughs> It'll be like it's brand new. Brand new. All right, uh, we, we, well, I pulled out three screws out of the bottom. If you come down, come on down. Um, if you get a shot under, you can see like this. Well, this has just been manged. <laughs> They're not watching the video vertically. <laughs> <laughs> Great cover, man. Anyway, um, this, this plate has just been scratched out because this car was lowered. And like there, there, and there. Someone just chucked in a couple of screws to make sure it didn't bottom out or well, scrape every time or get caught. You find that in a lot of bottomed out cars, I guess. So oh, we took them out. Always f look for them if you've got a nugget of a car. And uh, now we're on to the next bit. All right, so guys, once we've removed, we've done the grill, we've done the underneath little screws for the, well, horribly bashed out bumper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need to come around here and behind the bumper, on inside the uh i guess the wheel well we need to remove some more of those little plasticky uh knobby things you can't really see them there but we'll show you what we're going to do we're going to turn the tire 
That's gonna, my job. We're gonna access them. So. Alright guys, so we're in the wheel well and these are the little plastic screwy things. Basically what you want to do, same thing as the um the <laughs> same thing as the grill, you just gotta get the uh, flathead underneath it and pull it out and they should just pop up. I feel like this has got to be one of the worst front bumpers. Move your hand a bit, you're right here. Look at the curvature. <laughs> Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> so for us to get the front bumper off, you'll see that there's two screws as Alex is pointing at them. Um, we just one on each to... side. Yeah, one on each side. We just need to get that front one out. So you need to pull this little Actually, plastic flap. Actually, there's one a lot further in. Yeah, there is, there, yeah, yeah. true. So there's, so yeah, yeah, there's two pull there. This, pull so this you... little plastic flap. And then, well, we can't get a ratchet in, so we're just using a shifter and just like doing it that way. So you just do that, do the two of them, and then all you got left is clips. All right, so that took, how long did that take us, Dante? Oh, too long, I hair, think. Your hair looks a bit wetter. Right, it's, yeah, it, it took us way too long. Anyway, basically we've got the screws from the inside done. We've got all of the screws around the place off, at least we hope. So, should be as easy as just jimmying it around. He's got that side done. This side's not coming off. Get out of it, mate. Oh, there's a piece of... There's another thing in here. Look at the camera, Dante. I put the camera down because I thought we were going to have to unscrew something and Dante looked... I just yanked it. You just yanked it? All you have to do is yank. Just yank it Ooh, and... Yank it off, boys. Watch out for the wires though. All right, so uh, that's done. Look at me, Dante. He did it by the fingertips. Now this next bit should be pretty easy because if you look down at this, you'll see we've got these little pins. Right, so if we look at the new one. I think we're gonna have to take the lights out though, aren't we? I honestly don't think so. This one goes on this side, so we need Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Hold up. No. We'll cut to you when we know what we're doing. There we go. So all you have to do, push the pins in and just give it a nice little yank. Once again, we can see a bit of a history of the car's colors. I don't know, where, where do you reckon that blue and orange has come from? My then? theory is that a painter has owned this at some stage. Because look, it's all in there as well. There's like- But what what's weird is that blue and orange is below, like underneath. Where, the black paint. Yeah, when... Which means it's been... It, so, it, it's colours. It started off blue, then it's gone orange, and then it's gone black. And then for some reason, the paint's just all in there. So, who knows what this car's been coloured. Car's for sale. <laughs> car's for sale again. It's fine, perfectly fine. It's for sale, for a lot cheaper this time. It's so, fine, it's just Dante wants a new car. <laughs> to put it in, basically... You get your old one, you copy exactly what it is, find the right one. Then you just jam it in. That's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. Look at that. And we shall repeat it on the next side real quick. Ooh. All right, me and Dante, we uh, took the bottom grill out because that had the same kind of orange and blue paint on it. I don't know how that's got there. I don't know because it's not on the bumper, but it's on the grills. It's so mind boggling. Anyway, we plasti dipped it just because we plasti dipped that emblem and stuck that on that over there. We plasti dipped the album and put it on the new front grill, which yeah. Eh. <laughs> Anyway, so we just did that. Now we're going to pop that back in because the only way you can take it off or put it on is with the bumper off. So we're going to put that back on. And we'll whack the bumper back put on. Put the bumper back in, screw the bumper, and we'll show you it all together. Alright guys, so we're going to try and... We're putting the front bumper back in now. And I'll just tell you this. It's not the easiest job. I think I got my side in. Uh, you're gonna need to help me with this one. <laughs> so, you'll be able to see it on the camera here. If you have a look, you'll see this screw, or top of the screw. So that's those screws that we were trying to get undone. What we need to do is 
that needs to be up inside the metal. So essentially, we've got a bit like that. The screw needs to come up and sit on top of it so then it won't come out when you pull it down. So that's what we're gonna try and do now. All right, we've put it on. It took us, how long would you do it? An hour and 20? An hour and 20, I reckon. An hour and yeah. 20. She's but it should, it should take you guys, like if you've got a good actual bumper that's not manged out as like Dante's, it should take you half an hour max. But ours, we just had to, so many screws that someone else has just chucked in. But yeah, bump the hood down. Get that hood noise. Very nice, very nice. That's what it looks like. Now you will notice we've got a bit of sagging, but that comes with age. The plastic's just, the plastic's just sagging. Um, but yeah, no, they, the parts look a lot better than the, uh, than the no, ones that were in there. No paint on them, no paint there, no paint there, no paint down there, no paint there. Just... No more of that orange and blue paint, hallelujah. Car is black. Car is black on black. Black on black. Anyway, thank you for watching. Dante's got a special message to say. Yes, people, if you're still watching, you're probably OGs. And I wanted to let you know that I've had this car up for sale for a while. I took it down. I'm putting it back up now because I'm going to be buying a new car. And the one that I'm looking for is an SSV. Or an SS. V. Ready? V. Or do the eight. V. V. No. That's an X, homie. Oh, eight. V8. It's going to be a V8. Big LS. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop.